We're at the Columbia. The Columbia. The Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. Since 1905. Yeah. I think they, uh, so it's very fancy. I feel really out of place. I'm wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Yeah. And, and the waiters are wearing like tuxes and bow ties. And um, we just redneck this place out. This uh, menu is, I can't even pronounce most of the stuff on it. <laughs> and supposedly they do some kind of a flamenco dancing, dancing thing. And I'm not sure if we're allowed to film in here, but I smuggled the GoPro in. And so, worst case, they tell me to shut it off. So. Yeah. Anyway, Columbia. <laughs> um, we're probably just gonna get like a glass of water and a couple packets of Sweet and Low. Because I think that's all we can afford here. That's, that's not true. Um, I'm gonna give me a drink. You're gonna get a drink? Yeah. So we're gonna take out a loan <laughs> and we're gonna get Leslie a drink. A and drink I'll, and a churro. And I'll just stick to the water and the sweet and I'll buy the water. Oh, Michael said he's gonna, he's gonna. Water's on him. Yeah. Cool. Pitch in for the water. All right. Oh, waiter's yeah. here. <laughs> Gotta go. Well, now we have established that not only is this out of our price class. Um, well, we would never dine like this. These, unless it was a special occasion. These are very fancy items on the menu yeah. for food as well. So. Um, I'm not and sure. And we're not fancy people. <laughs> I have like a, like a Big Mac palette. <laughs> yeah, you do. And this is like Pretty Woman <laughs> caliber stuff here. Oh, and, but they did tell us. What's our server's name? I don't know. All right, we, we both forgot that. <laughs> and Nicole. Nicole. All right, thank you. It is now. And oh. even if it's not Nicole, it's Nicole. So we have established this is the longest running open Spanish restaurant in the world. The world. The world. <laughs> yeah. Since 1905. So only 115 years. I would expect that a restaurant would have been open for longer than that. Because 115, 115 years is not that long. Well, Cuban restaurant. She could be lying too. It's got, not lying. They got things on the wall in the front. Well, it's got to be true then. <laughs> they put things on the wall. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> It is, it's true. We'll show you our drinks when we get them. Well, everybody's ordered their their drinks and everybody's got their fancy stuff and I got I have my my water and my sweet and low packets because that's all that I can afford <laughs> at this restaurant but um but I'll make do I'll, I'm gonna be stuffed after this I'm, I'm good <laughs> you're stupid enjoy your $45 mango slushy. It was $10. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were close. Well, it's kind of loud in here, so I don't know if you can hear us, but we did we did end up having some, some drinks. Yes. And some uh, churros as a dessert with chocolate and caramel dipping sauce, which was amazing. Yes. So, I guess they saw us filming. And they, uh, waitress came over and asked if we wanted to go on a short tour of the Columbia. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Yes. See how interesting that is. Okay.
We're in Cuba. <laughs> we are. We're in Cuba. I didn't think our RV travels would ever take us to Cuba, but here we are. <laughs> RV travels can't get us to Cuba. Sure it can. Cuba's right there. <laughs> So not right there. There is no. It really is. There is a little <laughs> garden here in Tampa, Florida, that is still owned by Cuba. Yeah, technically. This is Cuban territory. Yes, you are correct. Well, actually, we are actually we're in the United States. Back up with me here. Let's back it up. Okay. Back it up. There's a little, a little lip. lip here. Oh, now we're in <laughs> Cuba. <laughs> so I was a little. Okay. I wasn't. Being yeah. completely honest uh -huh. a minute ago. Okay. So we're in Cuba now. Yes. I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I was like, come on, I'm, I'm throwing, throwing you a lot. I'm lobbing you softballs here. I'm just waiting for you to hit it out the park. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. We'll show you around Cuba. Okay. <laughs> What's this called? Boyet's? Boyet's Grove, Grove. and Citrus Attraction. All right. Uh, cool mural on the, on the wall back here. Cool mural up by where we park. There's like a alligator Elvis. <laughs> I have no idea what's here. I don't really either. It's a mix of things. We just didn't get to do many things, so we searched for something pretty close to where the RV park is, and this came up. So we'll take you along, and we'll let you know if it's worth coming to or not. Hi. Hello. Looks like it worked out. Okay, that was bizarre. <laughs> I am at a loss for words. <laughs> I don't know what we just saw. But it's not what I expected. No. At all. It's weird. It's just weird. 
<laughs> there's um, there's no rhyme or reason. No. It's um, eclectic. Yeah, some rooms are just like bizarrely themed with. It's like pirate stuff, dinosaur stuff, old animals West stuff. It's bizarre. And a fruit packing in the middle of it, and it's like this a zoo in the back, an aquarium to the side, miniature golfing in the middle of it all. It's, it's just weird. It's almost like they like, I don't really know what to do, so let's just do a little bit of everything. <laughs> they got it all. They, they did. And so uh, it's ten dollars per adult to go through, and um, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's worth it. It's. We were there about an hour. Yeah, I would really have kept our interest. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're passing through Brooksville, Florida, uh, come by and see the Boyettes, Boyette's whatever Grove. this is. <laughs> 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 they call it the Grove, but it's way well, more than that. Well, because of everything that was going on in Tampa with the RV show mm -hmm. and getting the new RV, we didn't get to do a whole lot of other things. No. But it was cool to be able to go to the Columbia. Yes. And it was cool to be able to go to Cuba. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was it was really loud and, and kind of busy in the restaurant, so we didn't yeah. talk much about the cool facts that the uh, manager talked to us about when we yeah. went on our little tour. Um, so during the Prohibition period, they had like a little speakeasy, mm -hmm. which was cool. He showed us the little that was pretty neat. trap door. Yeah. Because I guess the police... <laughs> I had gotten reports that they were serving alcohol, alcohol. at one point and they yeah. came in, they searched, and they didn't find anything. They had, right as soon as you walk in the door, there's like a false wall. Yeah, it has a, a portrait on it. Yeah. And so, you, <laughs> and actually the certificate. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. The certificate. The, the police gave them a certificate saying that they were cleared of, you know, it, of the accusal of being. Any wrongdoing. Of <laughs> serving alcohol. They hung it on the false wall that led to the speakeasy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very cool. And um, I guess there was there was a couple of stories about, you know, the Yankees do spring training down there mm -hmm. in, in Tampa. And so a lot of the Yankees would frequent the Columbia. Babe Ruth being one. Yes. Got a little rowdy a couple of times in the bar. Mm -hmm. Got kicked out of the bar. And so, like, the next day he brought back baseballs and bats signed, signed. yeah that was to cool. give to the staff to apologize for his behavior yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the other there is another restaurant that's owned by the same family and one of the baseballs is displayed in that yes. restaurant we didn't go mm -hmm. to that restaurant um but uh joe dimaggio marilyn, marilyn monroe, monroe also used to frequent the columbia and they showed us the table that they used to actually that sit in patio area yeah which used to be uh, outdoor, but they turned yeah. it to the greenhouse area. But it was cool to go on the tour, see the kitchen, the wine uh, the, the wine cellars were just insane. Yeah, it was crazy. And and then we went to Cuba. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Cuba. <laughs> Which was cool. <laughs> Never thought I'd go to Cuba. Yeah. But now I've been. Yeah. Check that off the list. I didn't even need a passport. <laughs> no. <laughs> but who knew? Was Cuba was in it? I didn't Tampa. know. <laughs> So that was cool. And then um, because we only did those couple little things in Tampa other than all the craziness with the show and yeah. and trading the RV and everything, um, it really wasn't enough for a full video. So we added on what we did here in Brooksville, which we've wasn't been... much. Yeah, but not much because we've been working on getting settled into the RV. Yes. Getting everything in its place. Yeah. Rebuilding Scouts Habitat. But we did need a, a day out to go... Yeah. Just have some fun and explore. And so we found yeah. Boyette's Grove. <laughs> yeah. Which was just random and bizarre. But um, so we hope you enjoyed watching that. Uh, um, so if you're in Brooksville, go check it out. It's one of those I things mean, you got to see it. For only <laughs> 10 bucks. It's a yeah. very, very quirky roadside oddity. Yeah. And it doesn't look that big from the front, but it goes way back. Yeah, lots it of does. animals, lots yeah. of just crazy stuff. So. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed watching all mm -hmm. that cool stuff. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to see all the ways that you can help us help bets on the road, we'll leave all the information you need in the description of this video. Appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.